So I usually think the inflation is fake, like people are not putting it all the way down. Look, I put it all the way down and look at this. And this is me after pressing a lot of the bubbles out because I just went to it. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Angela and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an 100% honest slime review of Tibble Slimes and I've been wanting to do this for so long now. And I just want to say that I did get two white slimes and they did kind of make the lighting a little, eh, it went a little crazy. Like the white blended in with the white table and the white lights so that kind of got a little wacko so just bear with me on that but before we get started make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified every single time that i post a new video and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and without any further ado let's get on with this slime review okay so this package came wrapped so well it came in a very quick amount of time i bought four slimes and it came with the care sheet extras all that stuff borax so the um I literally forget what this is called. I'm just going to call it a slime care card or whatever. So that was really nice. And then it came with two extras. Gobstop. English. It came with gobstoppers and then sour skittles. Funny story. I had sour skittles earlier today. And now my tongue is on fire and it hasn't stopped. And I'm kind of concerned. But it's okay. So I got Dole Whip. And then I got cookie dough ice cream, her iconic bestseller, and cookie dough ice cream did leak a little bit. Then I got peppermint bark boba and cake batter fudge. Okay, so I'm first going to be reviewing peppermint bark boba. This slime was so thick, it still is, and honestly I was kind of concerned because it was a little hard and cold from shipping. But don't worry, the heat of my hands warmed it up completely, made it so much better. Honestly, I think it was just from sitting for a while, trust me guys. I literally kind of thought this was just an overactivated slime on the um, Instagram posts, but it was so good. You just have to play with it for like a minute and it was perfectly fine. So trust me on this. Like I said, it's 100% honest. So overall, I would give this slime a 9 out of 10. And oh yeah, sorry. I forgot about the scent. It smelled like sweet peppermint, not gross peppermint. The next slime from Tibble Slimes is called Cookie Dough Ice Cream, and this is her iconic bestseller. It is a thick and glossy slime, and the scent was so good. It kind of smelled like Greek yogurt, but a little sweeter than it, and it was just so good. It came with two adorable little cookie dough charms, which added a great touch, not to mention that they were homemade, so I thought that was really cool. So the slime was so thick and glossy, I loved it, but just like the last slime, it did come a little too thick for my liking, but overall this slime is a 9 out of 10. Now I'm doing cookie dough ice cream, and as you can see, it did leak a little bit in the shipping, but that's totally not her fault. What? It doesn't move. It literally does not move. That's so cool. And what I thought was so cool about this slime was that it was so thick and glossy, but yet it was so stretchy, so I totally understand the hype. And just get ready for some great bubble pops. The bubble pops were amazing.
The next slime I got from her was called Dole Whip, and this is a puff slime, and it's kind of like a butter slime, but like kind of not, it's hard to explain, but the texture was amazing, and all these slimes I got, I got 7 ounces, so I thought that was a great size, and this color was so pretty and vibrant, and the scent was, oh my goodness, so good, and the inflation, we're not even going to get to that because that's all the way at the Empire State Building, so overall this slime is a 10 out of 10. so smooth. Okay, let's inflate this. Let me zoom it out a little bit. And I'm sure it could inflate much more, but I'm just going to move on to the next slime a while. The next slime I got was called Cake Batter Fudge, and I've been eyeing this slime up in her shop for so long now, and finally I got it. It came with little chocolate pieces, obviously fake chocolate pieces, and rainbow sprinkles in it, and I thought that added a great touch. And it's the same texture as Dole Whip, a nice puff butter slime, and oh my goodness, the scent was phenomenal. Oh my, I'm speechless with the scent. It smelled better than cake, and I don't even like cake butt cake wow this was amazing and the inflation bro the inflation nation okay sorry but the inflation was amazing it literally quadrupled its size just like me on thanksgiving and i have no regrets buying the slime there's no flaws in this so i recommend buying it so overall the slime is a 10 out of 10 i would do 100 out of 10 but you know i can't really do that <laughs> So I usually think the inflation is fake, like people are not putting it all the way down. Look, I put it all the way down and look at this. And this is me after pressing a lot of the bubbles out because I just went to it. <laughs> it's inflated. Like, look at that. That's insane. I did not think that was going to be like that. Okay, it gets so much better as you play with it. Trust me on that one. Like I said, this is 100% honest.
whenever I stop filming, I'm literally going to play with it amazingly. And then I'm like, oh, I have to film again. All these scents were phenomenal, though. You know how peppermint could sometimes smell like way too minty? This is like a sweet mint. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you liked it make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified every single time that I post a new video. Overall all of these slimes were so great and amazing and I would have to rate my purchase from Tibble Slimes a 9.5 out of 10. I have no regrets buying from her and I just want to wish you guys a happy holidays and a happy new year. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you next week. Bye! Hi everyone! This is Mia, Angela's cat. For more videos, make sure to subscribe by hitting the